Good morning, YouTubers. It's the 13th of May, 2015 today, and I want to have a little quick chat about onions. Uh, yesterday, we found four that had uh, gone to seed, um, and, um, well, you, this is what you've got to watch with onions, because onions are biennial plants, and if you grow them from the onion set, you must know that uh, they they may have a tendency to go to seed because effectively it's their second year. It depends on what you want them for. Um, I'm all right because I don't want mine for storage. I what I'm going to do is when they're all ready and dried, I'm going to uh, chop them all up and freeze them. Uh, so it doesn't bother me that they're flower and I just nip the flower heads off of them and and that'll be fine. But if you wanted them for storage, the ones that flowers, that had, you know, the ones that uh, do flower, um, they're, they're not really any good for storage. Um, and so if they started to flower, you'd have to bend them all over. So, um, yeah, it'll be all right. They've got a few more weeks to go. And um, uh, they're, they're beginning to get a little bit brown on some of the tips, so that's a good sign. Well, for me it is anyway. Um, the tips start to go brown and then they start to fall over. And uh, that's as big as they're going to get. But I mean, I could take them now and they'd be big enough. But, I'm, you know, I'd rather just leave them to, uh, do, you know, grow a little bit bigger. Well, the bigger the better, isn't it? Anyway, I thought I'd have a chat about that. I've brought down a couple of Market Moore cucumbers to the allotment because um, they are an outdoor variety so I'm going to try growing them outdoors so we'll see how they get on they're just spare anyway so that one and that one uh, they're starting to get flowers on them already I'm just going to put them in the ground though because I think they'll do better in the ground in, in little pots like this there we are youtubers um, the pond's cleared now and I can see to the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to see to the bottom because of the sun, but I can see right to the bottom now. So the water is really clear. Let me show you how deep it is. Go, yeah, go on then. That yeah, deep. That deep. Uh, okay. It is that deep. That this deep. Isn't that deep, is it? It's not that. No, not really. Right, I'm going to do a little walk round for those of you who like flowers and um, so this little clip will be all about the flowers that I've planted um, and taken down to the allotment so first of all we've got cosmos pink and white ones and they'll go in the top bed uh, my neighbor uh, allotment here she very generously donated some love in a mist which which will go up there as well um, and these two pots here and there they're full of sweet williams uh, I'll switch off now and I'll go up to the top bed and I'll explain what I've got up there oh I forgot there's some geraniums there um, I'll switch off now and go up right to the top then, bed I'm up in the top bed um, and as you know, these big ones are foxgloves. Uh, I've planted um, love, uh, sorry, uh, lavatera. Some lavatera I've planted there, and delphiniums I've planted there. Uh, I've also planted some evening primroses. It's right at the back. We can't see it at the moment. I found out that this plant here. It's called teasel, and it's um, it seeds itself, and it's a wild, it's a wild growing flower. So I just thought I'd leave it, you know. So uh, what else did I plant in here? Um, sorry about this. It's uh, aquilegia columbine. Uh, the other ones are flowering over there as well. Very pretty, different colours. There we are, and I've got one in the middle 
as well. I think it's of a similar colour to this one here. Um, then we've got those uh, white daisy type flowers are oxide daisies. Um, this blue blue flower here is forget-me-nots. Forget-me-not. And um, what else have I planted? Uh, I'm just uh, winding my way through the bed. Sorry about this. Uh, over there, that's uh, poppies and cenaria, the, the, the light-coloured um, silvery ones are cenaria. I planted them. Then we've got cornflowers there, which I planted, um, and I gave my neighbour some as well. Um, and oh, let me just step off the bed a minute. Oops, sorry for turning, turning round. Uh, I put a, some uh, arabis in there. I don't know. It was only one plant, so I don't know if I can see it, but. I'll have a look um, and they don't like to be too wet so I put it near the edge but I'm just looking for it ah yes here it is there that's arabus it's white flower when it comes out it's very pretty it spreads very easily it likes to be quite dry though and then of course you know that I put a row of calendulas right the way along uh, Sedum, I planted that. Sedum, it's very nice. Uh, pink flowers comes comes on late, late, later on in the year, later on in the summer. Um, and it's uh, very pro prolific. Um, uh, and of course the rose bushes I planted. One there and uh, another one over by that. Aquilegia. And so the bed's filling up and uh, hopefully it will be absolutely jam-packed come the summer. Uh, I'm going to put some wild flowers in here as well um, to fill it up a bit. Growing at the back of it is uh, fennel. There's a load of fennel growing at the back. That's what the last allotment holder uh, had. And of course we've got uh, the bluebells, but these are not English bluebells, I discovered. They're Spanish ones. The difference being that the Spanish ones don't droop over, they sort of stick out. Let's see if I can... Yeah, I see they're, they don't droop over so much, they stick out. And bear with me, because uh, my neighbour's got some English ones. I'll just switch off now and I'll show you the difference. I just wanted to sh compare these ever-last, ever-bearing strawberries to the normal strawberries. These ones are just huge. The, the flowers are huge, therefore the strawberries are huge. Uh, the, the, this is the normal-sized one. And these are the, eight, the ever barren ones. You can see there's an awful lot of difference there. Mum? Oh, yeah. You uh, you enjoying filming, are you? You filming? Yep. Well, I just wanted to ask you. I want my own segment. You want your own segment, yeah, do you? I want my own corner, and I want it to be called Mike's Corner. Okay. Because um, I've got. I'm getting quite big, you know, darling. I'm getting quite big in the internet community. Oh, I've is got that a lot of followers, and quite frankly, I've outgrown you. <laughs> <laughs> I've outgrown you, and I want my own segment, and I've got my lawyers and solicitors on it, and they said, you've got to give me my own segment, it's got to be called Mike's Corner, and it's got to be at least 10 minutes every show, okay. otherwise I'm gone, darling. <laughs> I'll just I'll just go and I'll make my own. I'll do my own. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, Mike's Corner. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to give you your close-up. Are you ready for your close-up? Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> My best side. <laughs> no, I want your best, your best That's my side. Best side. <laughs> right, this is an edition of Mike's Corner. Oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Mike's Corner. 
<laughs> the best part of the place, because it got to be the best part of the place, because it's my corner. And I want all the special effects spent on this part, this segment of the show. So no scrimping. <laughs> so this is what I've done in my corner. I've, I've hung that up and I stuck the pole in the ground and I hung that on the pole and I made all of this. I did. I made it all. Me, darling, me. I want a special effect before you come to Mike's Corner and after you come to Mike's Corner. Or I'll walk, Mum. I'll walk. I've become too big for this show. Too big. <laughs> YouTubers know. They know. If you check it out, I've got a lot of followers. And I'll take all my followers with me and I'll go. I don't get this segment. <laughs> right, and so that's the end of the, today's edition of Mike's Corner. Obviously, we'll have dancers coming in and maybe <laughs> like some trumpet players or something and explosions going off and stuff like that. But this is just a dry run. So all we're getting for now is the picture swivel. The, the, you know, when the screen turns round and cue screen turning round. I'll see you next time. These are the golden ball turnips that Michael planted some weeks ago. They're doing fine. I think I'll leave the net off of them now. I think they should be okay. Uh, on the other side is the Mizuma and uh, then some more uh, of uh, there's a Mizuma here sorry sorry for the shadow and then some more turnips there but they're not so far on because we planted them later so we'll leave the net on there for a bit and our next job now is to move those potatoes and uh, make a windbreak for when I plant the other sweet corn and I'll show you that when it's finished now uh, these uh, cauliflowers are doing really well and that was not a cauliflower that I planted it was kohlrabi uh, but they all look the same don't they and that's the primo sorry for the shadows that's the primo cabbage there and on this side I've forgotten then what was in it it's covering up the label oh savoy cabbage that's right savoy cabbage I remember now they're all doing very well right then youtubers I thought you'd like to see what uh, I have done and I did do it myself um, the potatoes have moved, the landscape's changed a bit. Potatoes have moved up to the top end, and uh, I've made this little windbreak here. Uh, and this is going to be where I'm going to put the other sweet corn um, in this patch here. I started to dig it as well. But I'm not very good, I can't dig much. And sweet corn's in there, the cold frame. So I th I'm thinking that this is big enough for, this part here is big enough for the, the sweet corn. And uh, they'll be happy in there. Uh, so we'll leave them in there for a wee while longer because they can get a bit bigger in there. All that noise is coming from the school. <laughs> school school play, playgrounds. Although I don't think it's school children that's on it, because school's out. I think uh, kids come and play on there. This Mike's just been weeding all the the onions and the garlic. And uh, I'll show you my... Uh, oh, sorry about the shadow. I'll show you my... Um, spring onions are doing really well now. I couldn't get them to grow when they were in the polytunnel. I think probably it was too hot for them in there, but it's it's a beautiful day today. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's supposed to be get up to 19 degrees, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was that, because it just reminds you on holiday time, you know? It's so hot. But anyway, so... Potatoes all fit in there nicely. And I've got a space to walk to get to the sweet corn. So 
There's no wind today. It's just gorgeous. It's just a gorgeous day. So we're thinking that that's all we'll do for today. Um, there's Brian down there. He's, his job today was watering. And it's taken him a good couple of hours to, to water everything. So, that'll be all for now then. Did you get all of them off of there? Yeah. Well, move yourself a minute, man, please. So, Michael's fed up a weed in now, so... And uh, Brian's fed up a watering. So, we're going to head off home now, I think. Um, we've had our tea. We sat and had our tea in the sun. Such a beautiful day. So that'll be all for now and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.